so many people are asking me like how how do I live my dream Gary and you know I don't have time I have mortgages and bills and responsibilities in my job I don't have time for my side hustle my Twitch channel my Instagram account my Shopify store selling hoodies and I keep getting to this new place which is talk to me about your bills like why'd you buy an apartment that stretches you why is your car so fancy like why do you need the new Gucci every time? Like, why are you why are you going out Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night? Like, why are you going to Coachella? Like, why why are you going to Avengers opening night and buying the biggest piece of popcorn and candy? Like, the answer to all of your questions is not how much money you make or how much time you have. It's what you're spending your money on. But Gary, I want to live my life. I'm like, cool, but you're also complaining for like, you know, this is one thing. You can't. You can do both. You can't complain that you can't do your dream. Dreams require sacrifices. Dreams require sacrifices. People don't want to sacrifice because they're so used to mommy or daddy or the system or the government or something else taking care of both. It's not how it works. You don't get to the 1% land. You don't get to that unbelievable place of happiness. You don't get to live your dream. You're not entitled to your dream. You have to fucking bleed for your fucking dream. You're not entitled to your dream. You're not entitled. Nobody's entitled to be a, an amazing dancer. Nobody that, that tours the world and gets to dance and open for Beyonce and make 580 a year and fucking live it and go to fucking, you know, you know <laughs> Monaco on the fucking weekends. Like, it's not how it works. Everybody starts at zero. Some people start at different places. But anybody who does it for themselves has to sacrifice. Like, yes, like, Move. Like, my city's expensive. Move. Like, my car payments are high. Sell your car and buy a piece of shit car. Take the bus. This is dreams we're talking about. We're talking about dreams. We're talking about, like, I want to be a professional gamer. We're talking about, I want to get paid $200,000 to give a speech. We're talking about shit that isn't normal. It's one big framework, D Rock, of like, of self esteem lack of self-esteem slash insecurity, entitlement or accountability. It's these huge things. Like some reason, DNA, parenting, circumstance, I'm on the extreme end of everything's my fault. Nobody owes me shit. I shouldn't get anything unless I bleed for it. From a psychological standpoint, you're one of two things. You think you're owed something or you don't. Whether you're in middle America and immigrants are coming in, or plenty of people don't like immigrants on the East and West Coast too. I don't stereotype anymore. It's a one person game. And here's that game. Do you think that somebody owes you something or don't you? If you're lucky enough to think that nobody owes you anything, then you get to work. If you think somebody that, if you think somebody owes you something, then you get lazy and you're entitled and you're fucking weak and you're fucking soft and you're gonna lose. That's what's up, partner. That's what's fucking up.